Until now, we already visited Kotao and Kopangan. Those islands are part of every traveling territory through the land of smiles. We wanted something different with fewer tourists, a unique place with snorkeling and wild nature. A blogger that inspired me to travel, known as Los LeBlanc, told about the four islands tour that departs from the island called Colanta, and it was his best snorkeling in Thailand. So as a snorkeling lover, I had to travel there and see by myself if it's really worth the trip. Good morning guys, today we are leaving Copangan and our next island is gonna be Colanta. From here we are going to take a ferry from Hadrin Pier to Samoy. From Samoy we take a flight to Krabi and then we take a transfer from Krabi to Colanta, about two hours drive. Very frustrating day and uh, we are barely slept. We were so tired after the half moon party last night. We came back so late and woke up so early. We arrived to some airport. This airport is so unique, it's so small. There you arrive with the car. Here's the check-in. We checked our baggage and you'll be surprised, but this, you can call it the duty-free of the airport. Yeah, it's so unique and special. Yeah, this is the area of the airport. <laughs> it feels like uh, walking on the alley in the middle of the city. <laughs> this unique airport of Samoy, this is how looks the waiting area. This is how looks the boarding area. The Twin Bay Resort. Let's check it out. Wow, look at this beautiful room. We got a room with the view of the sea. Look at it. Wow. wow. We are traveling on the monsoon season, the most rainy season in Thailand, and because the hotel was almost empty of tourists, they upgraded our room for free, which was a nice surprise. The Four Island tour could be partially delayed due to bad weather, so we decided to stay for three nights on the island. Luckily, the weather was shiny on the next morning. Good morning, guys. Yesterday we booked for today a Four Island tour, and was it dependent on the weather? It looks like the weather is clear, so today we're going for four islands. Now, if you're staying in the Krabi or you're staying in the Aonang or Phuket, you'll probably hear about the four islands tour. So, but bear in mind that uh, every tour of four islands is different islands. So, if you want to go for the islands that we are going, you need to come here to Koh Lanta. We have finally arrived to our first stop. Let's jump strongly in the water. We just arrived to our second stop, which is Koh Mak. Uh, every stop we got 45 minutes to snorkel in the water. Now we'll jump in. arrived from the island over there which is Koma where we've been snorkeling now we stopped in the island called Konagai for lunch and then we continue to another two islands Ooh, it's so cute look it's adorable We arrived to an island called Koporo. We still don't know what we're gonna do here, but they asked to leave the snorkeling behind, and so we're not gonna swim here, and they asked me to put clothes above my swimming suit. I don't really know what was the purpose of stopping here. They don't uh, tell you why we are stopping. They, they basically don't speak at all. Mm -hmm. They just stop, they say that you have 45 yeah. minutes, and that, that, that's all. <laughs> my guess, is uh, that they're trying to make some uh, money for the locals so they stopped uh, us here so 
so we buy some uh, shakes and stuff. We returned from the tour and we were a little bit uh, disappointed because we didn't visit the Emerald Cave which was the highlight of this uh, four island tour. It's closed for a low season and it's open only from November to April on the high season and the reason for this is because it's a national park and uh, they close it for a half year for the nature to get restored by itself. Good morning guys and another beautiful day here in Koh Lanta. We have a free day, we did not uh, have any plans for today, so we ask ourselves why not uh, take a scooter and uh, drive to the south part of the island. And I know, and in my previous video, I said don't rent a scooter in Thailand because it's dangerous, but here in Koh Lanta it might be safer than uh, driving in the other islands like Koh Phangan. So yes, we rented the scooter for 24 hours and today we want to search for monkeys. Yeah, and monkeys we can find in the south part of the island in a national park called Mu Kolanta. So we will go there today and uh, hopefully we'll find some monkeys. Okay, so we arrived to Mu National Park. In first sight, it looks beautiful here. The uh, cost was 200 baht for person, which is five dollars and an additional 20 baht for your bike. On the way, we saw some monkeys that were crossing the roads where people living and I think the people uh, shoot some ammo. Here's the first monkey. To scare the monkeys away from the locals. Uh, Karina had this bottle with the pocket and the monkey surrendered her. Uh, one came from the front and one was uh, waiting her in, this, in the tree. She barely ran away before they catched it. <laughs> Guys, you know there is no boundaries for Jenny's travel vlogs, you know? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> we return from Mu Kolanta. The park is beautiful with wild nature, monkeys and huge lizards just walking around freely. With only few people at the park, it was a perfect trip. In the end of the day, I think the island gets its own unique charm and it's definitely worth the trip to Koh Lanta. So guys, I, I hope you loved the video. Hit the like button, subscribe, comment below if you got any questions. And I'll see you in the next video in Coffee Fee.